Hello everyone. This year has been a challenging and difficult year for many people all over the world. From losing jobs, incomes, businesses, to many of us having our loved ones ill or hospitalized, or having lost our loved ones to COVID-19. It has been a year of lockdowns, rules and curfews. We have been encouraged to no longer socialize, to not hug or kiss our families, to leave loved ones alone for their special days or the holidays, to use our mask from nose to chin and to wash hands or sanitize as much as possible. Many of us are left with no hope and for many of us, hope is all that we do have. During this Christmas time, persons working on the front line will continue to give of themselves even more. And many of us will be working throughout the holidays. I would like to say a sincere thanks to all the dedicated, hardworking frontline personnel in the health facilities all over our beautiful nation, providing care to those who access our facilities. The resilience shown by our many and especially our health team throughout this year is beyond compare and must be admired. We continue to wake up every morning and present to work in these very uncertain times. I continue to ask that we collectively act to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Public health measures have been proven to reduce spread, like social distancing, properly using your mask over your nose and chin and protecting your eyes. And hand washing and constant sanitizing is also strongly recommended. Early detection and isolation has always been one of the measures taken by the Ministry of Health and Wellness. And we are hopeful that the rolling out of rapid test drives all over the country will continue to help us to detect and isolate cases early. Seeking medical care by attending the flu clinic or calling the emergency numbers is necessary and encouraged. Do not wait until it is too late. Please remember that we can all do our part to stop the spread of COVID-19. This response is not only for the Ministry of Health and Wellness, but for each and every one of us. This Christmas season, have a quiet and enjoyable time with the family that you live with. Not socializing with your mom, dad, grandparents, or vulnerable relatives may be the best gift that you can give them this year. I would once again like to extend a sincere thank you to all our health teams countrywide on the ground, holding the fort this Christmas in ambulances, flu clinics, health centers, COVID wards, and hospitals all over our country. I wish you all a safe and blessed Christmas and a new year filled with hope and aspiration. Let us continue to join forces in the fight against COVID-19.